Dow Jones and Nasdaq both opened the week on a bearish bias. It has traded with a drop, and since then we have seen a very strong recovery where US 30 has seen 34,300 levels and US 100 has gone close to 14,500. So, now what to expect from Dow Jones and Nasdaq with the US session? Is it going to continue with the rally which is left on last Friday, or is it going to drop from here as we have seen extreme highs? Which position you should take trading Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones? We will see with the help of charts and indicators if you are new to the channel do subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates this is the second update for the day the first update was released with the asia and europe session thus press the bell icon and do like share and comment as well let's start first to look into nasdaq 100 followed with dow jones watch till the end now see what is happening on the tech 100 there is a strong rise retracement again lower highs lower lows so i will look forward to this zone at 15 440 which is achievable level and only below 15 440 and 420s where the bears will be taking over then also you have to wait for 380 360 zone to be breached in order to confirm the drop this is the level where the bears will take over you have seen this was the zone where Nasdaq 100 is consolidation and it may try to fall back within this zone for once. Now, see, after the zone, we have seen a drop, we have seen a rise, it is symmetrical move. So, possibility for it to fall back within 15,300, 350 exists. If not today, then possibly some point of time. As long as it stays below 15,440, the bearishness will be there. Now, if you look at the hourly chart, see higher lows, higher highs are seen. Wait for it to break below uh, 15,480, 470 zone, I will say below which further bearishness for 440 levels will be seen, 450 levels will be seen, which is the first support zone. And below that is only the bears will be seen. The stochastic is overbought. MACD has again crossed over at the top, uh, trying to diverge a bit. Let's see if it continues with the bearish bias from here. RSI overbought, coming to 2-hour chart. Likewise on the 2-hour charts, higher lows, higher highs. Wait for it to stay below 15, 470 levels and then uh, 450, 440 zone. Yes, that is the only level below which you should say that the prices are turning bearish. At the same time, above 15, 520, there is no other option but to buy. We can look forward to uh, 15, 440, uh, 15, 540, 550 zone, which is the first resistance zone on the upside. Stochastic rising, MACD is in green. It is trying to converge a bit. It is still not willing to cross over. RSI very near to the overbought zone. On the three hour charts, if you on the three hour charts, couple of red candles reversal and a minor greener candles here. Resistance is seen uh, two red, two green. Possibility for it to trade with a drop exists, but right now it is not showing any bearishness as of now. It is still yielding higher lows and higher highs. So I will definitely watch out for how it behaves at around 15, 520, 550 zone, which is a greater resistance zone. The stochastic rising, MACD is in green, RSI is flat near to top, coming to four hour chart. Similar observation on the 4 hour charts, 2 red, 2 green, retracement done, lower highs, lower lows, so possibility uh, for it to trade in zone and yes, a breakout above 15,520 should be considered seriously. Stochastic has dropped, MACD is in green here, it is trying to rise more, RSI is near to overbought levels, coming to the daily. Now on the daily charts, the first observation is the NASDAQ 100 has given a breakout out of this flag, this is a bullish flag and it has given a breakout last week. And see 15, 140, 100 is the support zone. Now what has happened since then, the week it has started on a bearish note. It has already achieved lower highs and uh, lower lows here. The possibility for it to achieve here first 15, 400, 430 levels exists strong. And in fact, I will look forward to a further drop towards 15, 300, 350 zone. Yes, that is a zone. If it stays below 15, 440, yes, these levels are achievable. Uh, still, those who want to risk a little can sell here at 15,470 itself. Now, before I give you the complete levels and trading strategy for the day, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my mentorship batch. The 27th batch is starting on 20th of November. Register yourself, now itself. Reach out to me for more details on sale. Also, you can be part of my signals channel as well. Now, you can register on the for the batch by visiting the place page www.forexhonda.com. This platform has much more to offer than just the mentorship batch. Here is the tab. Uh, by clicking on the mentorship batch details, you will find the curriculum time links and also the payments tab is there where you can book your seats by filling the details. This platform has much more to offer with the breaking news from across the globe is available. The economic calendar is available where you get the live data releases from any market in the world. And yes, the charts, you can look forward to your favorite charts here on the market step and uh, 
Yes, you can find out your favorite instruments, do the charting, do the analysis with the help of tools and indicators. You can also schedule a call with me if you need any consultation or guidance. And here is the discussion forum you can, where you can initiate a discussion and take the, your trading and take an informed decision and indulge in into an enriching discussion here with the like-minded traders. So visit the page www.forexwanda.com. Now looking at this first, the only levels to buy tech 100 today is 15,520 beyond 15520 as long as 15540 560 levels are respected we have to put a 20 point trailing stop loss and staying beyond 15560 it is going to hit 15600 the next milestone the greater resistance zone at the same time on the downside we have to or one can take a sell entry at 40 15 470 levels but 440 450 is the first support level only if it stays below 15440 further bearishness will prevail and i will look forward for it to move towards 15300 350 zone very very soon so below 15440 it is 15400 then 15340 3, uh, 350 300 zone will be seen take your trades accordingly now let's say we look at down see us 30 if you look at double top levels are done almost at the same zone 34300 which is definitely a greater resistance since then it is trying to give symmetrical candles Yes, symmetrical candles means it is trying to retrace and reverse a bit. Prices are divergent from the 20 period moving average, which is right now. 200 is the milestone which US 30 has to break in order to confirm the bearish bias there, below which you can say that we may look forward to 150 100 zone as the next support zone. On the hourly charts, yes, moving averages are still divergent, is still bullish, and the prices are trading with too much divergence from the moving average. Thus, the possibility for it to move towards 34,200 exists. The stock has to overbought. MACD is also slightly overbought, so it can possibly converge crossover for sell. RSI is also near to top. Coming to two hour charts, look at two hour charts here. A reversal sign after three bullish candles. See what has happened here. Reversal sign, couple of bullish candles then a possible reversal sign and it is trying to trade bearish so uh, yes it is it's still trading in the zone this is the zone it needs to break below specifically below 34 150 is where the bears will take over right now also one must note see uh, the rise retracement double top and possibly if it breaks below 34 150 we can see a major drop today also one must note that us 30 has been staying within this zone here the bottom here is at 34 100 levels Stock ISIC near to overbought, MACD is divergent and bullish, RSI is trying to look down, trying to give a slight bearish indication here. On the 3, now look at 3 hour charts, see lower high so far, higher low so far, wait for it to stay below 34200 and 34150 levels in order to confirm the drop. Also this is the first red candle and see the preceding candle has a little wick on the upside suggests that it can in fact reverse and it is only below 34. 200 levels is where the bearishness will confirm a little. Also, one must note the prices are too much divergent from the moving average. We can see it converging. The stock has to rising. MACD is in green. RSI is flat. On the 4 hour charts, if you look on the 4 hour charts, also similar observation here. It is still yielding higher lows, higher highs. Thus, we have to wait for it to break below 34, 200 levels in order to confirm further bearishness. And then we have to specifically wait for it to stay below 34, 150 for the major drop levels. And below 34, 150, we can see a major bearish move taking it till towards 34, 100 and 34,000 levels. The stock has to near to overbought. MACD has just crossed over. It is trying to trade with little divergence and bullishness. And it is giving good waves here. But I will see this wave as a you know re reversal from just 50% level. It can possibly show a down move. RSI near to overbought. Coming to the daily. Now look at the daily chart. See higher highs here. And higher highs suggest that uh, 350, 400, the major hurdle for US 30 to break pass by. So far for the day, we have seen it is struggling to in fact break beyond 34, 300 as well. Yes, beyond 34, 300, little bullishness can be expected, which may take the prices towards 34, uh, 350 and 400 zone. But still, I will not treat this as bullish. It can erase the gains for the day. Now, see, once it stays below 34, 200, that is the point of time where only you can say that the bears are taking over. So on the downside, one can sell here at 34, 200 is there, 34, 150, 100 level will be seen. And if you see US that is staying below 34, 100, you can say that it is willing to erase the gains what we have seen. See, drop, retracement, higher highs, and if it drops, it can give you a massive drop here below 33, 800 levels as well. But right now, it is not showing any signs of the drop. So thus, we have to wait for it to break either which way is on the upside. Specifically, you have to stay alert beyond 34, 300 is there. 
uh, the bulls will try to take over but still we have to stay conscious towards uh, stay, stay cautious towards 34 300 and 400 zone this is the greater greater resistance zone and prices may fall from these levels the stake your positions accordingly sell at 200 buy at 300 do not trade for this 100 points trade accordingly have a great profitable trading day ahead see you again with the asia and europe session update tomorrow morning do watch that update as well do like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or trading queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description join my free telegram channel on and visit the platform forexfunda.com for any of your queries thank you very much